So what I want to cover in this video is a way to use conditional access to block users' ability to download files in SharePoint Online. Now, the normal user experience with uh, downloading files will be simply to go to a document library of their choice and select the download button here, and you'll see that they get the option to download it to a uh, local device. Again, that is now downloaded to our local device. Now, what we want to do is we want to go in and prevent this uh, from happening in our environment. Now, to achieve that, we're basically going to need to have a tenant that includes conditional access. Conditional access is part of Azure AD P1 and is included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So that is an example of a SKU that includes conditional access. So when we come into this area here um, from the portal, so we can do this via a search up the top there. So if we go in there, and put in conditional access, you'll see that uh, it's available in the search. We click on that and it takes us directly to that location. So what we want to do is create a new policy here. So we're going to call this um, restrict uh, downloads. All right, and what we're going to do then is we're going to apply that to all users. Generally, we can target that at individuals if we wish. Uh, best practice would also be to make sure that you do exclude um, some administrator accounts or at least one admin account uh, in case you uh, need to because we don't want to accidentally lock ourselves uh, out of the environment. So generally, include all users but exclude uh, a break glass style account. Now, which cloud apps are we going to target? Now, we could target any of the uh, cloud apps here. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to select a specific one. In this case, we're just going to uh, select SharePoint Online. Just to illustrate this, we'll do a, a search for SharePoint Online over on the right, and we will select that as our cloud app of choice. So this uh, conditional access policy will only apply uh, to SharePoint Online. Uh, we go in here now and select uh, the uh, conditions. Now you'll see what we want to do here is we want to go in and select the client apps, and we want this to apply uh, basically to uh, our browser. All right, so we can apply it to all, but let's just apply it uh, to our browser for this example. So I've turned that on and then enabled the browser. All right, so the next option I'll select here is the session option. I'll go in and select the option here to use conditional access app control, and I will pull this down and select the block downloads uh, option here. All right, so let's select that. And with that complete, I will turn the policy on and also select the create item here. So that's going to create the policy and it is also going to apply that uh, to my environment. And again, if we wait a moment or two, we'll see that that policy again uh, has appeared. Now, another little tip here to ensure the policy does apply as quickly as possible. So if we go into our Azure AD and we scroll down till we find the security option, uh, in security option, you'll see there's an option there called continuous access evaluation. Make sure that that is set to enable. And you'll notice that we could also target uh, groups or users with that. But in this case, we'll apply it to uh, all our users. So with that set, let's just go back in and uh, look at our conditional access policy. So again, we went and created a new policy. We applied that to all users and did exclude a single break glass account. We then uh, went in and targeted that uh, policy directly just at SharePoint Online. We could extend that if we want. We've set the conditions here to include just the browser. And then what we've done is gone into the session control here and used the uh, conditional access app control and selected the option to block download. So with all that in place, we've chosen to uh, save it and apply it to our environment. Now, if we go back to our user uh, environment here, so you'll see now that if we try and download the file, we will uh, be presented with this dialog box here that tells us that access to SharePoint Online is now being uh, monitored. So what I'm gonna do is select the option to hide that and continue on to SharePoint Online. It'll take us to our normal uh, document library there. All right, so you'll see here the, the familiar document library. Now, if I select that same file and select the option here to go and download, you'll see basically I get a pop-up message here indicating that the download has uh, been blocked. 
and we do have cloud app security uh, also on this tenant here giving us that information and you'll see that uh, I'm unable to uh, download that I just get a simple text file to let me know that that block that download has been blocked all right so again we get this warning information here so if I go in and select another file here and try to download again I get that same message. Now remember that we did go in and create uh, basically an exception for our administrator. So let's go and see what the experience is uh, for that user. So let's go into the Office 365 portal there and then let us go into the SharePoint Online again and select that same site. <coughs> go into Contoso and go into the documents, go into the general folder where we were before and let me select this file and then go download. All right, and you can see that that does download successfully. And if I have a look at my folder here, you'll see that it is uh, listed and has been downloaded. So in summary, what we did to, uh, to restrict the capability of uh, users to download files. We firstly needed to have an environment that included uh, conditional access as part of that. We then went in and created a conditional access policy that was targeted at the users that we wanted, also at the applications we want to use. In this case, it was the browser, the app that we wanted to, all right, so in this case, SharePoint Online, and then we targeted the uh, applications. In this case, it was just the uh, browser that we selected. And then finally, we went down to the session control here and selected the use conditional access app control. And we selected then the option to block the downloads. We applied that, set that to on, that would then apply to our users. Typically, you may need to have the user log out and log back into their environment for that to kick in. Once it kicks in, they will get that warning message initially. And once they have gone through that, any file that they then do go and select to download uh, basically will receive uh, this uh, style of blocking message that you see here. Now remember that this is a capability that is targeted at the whole SharePoint Online application. We can't really target this to a specific document library or specific item. Uh, so that's probably the best approach if you do want to uh, limit users capabilities to download files from SharePoint Online. So thank you very much for watching the video.